Hey guys, it's there, my friends, Dr. Alan here, and today we're going to be diving into the world of eyeglasses technology. Because glasses have come a long way, they are not just a medical device, and they are not just a fashion statement, they're not just frames and lenses, they're in fact built with a lot of crazy cool technology. And one of the coolest technologies I find is that of photochromic lenses. They are the glasses that are clear indoors and turn into sunglasses outdoors and vice versa. And one brand that has always been pushing this technology and reinventing things comes from the brand of Transitions. So today we've got four contenders. We have the Transitions Generation 8 lenses. We have the new generation of Transitions Extra Active. We have the Transitions Extra Active Polarized. And then we have the Transitions Drivewear. So let's break down the pros and cons of each of these and see how they stack up against each other. So first up are the Transitions Generation 8 lenses. These are sort of the newest evolution and what I would call the standard transition lenses. Really what sets them apart is that they're all about clarity, speed, and style. These lenses are designed to be fully clear indoors and then to transition to be moderately dark sunglasses when you step outside and change at a very fast pace, technically taking less than a minute to fully darken in sunlight. And then to fade back to clear, they are faster than any other transitions technology that came before them, technically around three minutes faster. And if you're just looking at the clarity of the lens color, I clocked them in at around three to five minutes to turn from dark outside to perfectly clear indoors. However, functionally, I have never struggled going from outdoors to indoors. I still feel comfortable looking through the lenses, even when in an indoor space when they're fully transitioned. And as with all transition lenses, they are super responsive to UV light. That's how they even transition and change color. That means that you get 100% UV blockage, including the harmful UVA and UVB rays, all of the time, whether you are outdoors or indoors, you have that protection. But one area where the Transitions 8 is very different is that it comes in a variety of colors and kind of fashionable styles. So I've seen them in colors of blue and green, purple. I've even seen a cool pair that was pink and then developed a bright pink flash mirror when stepped outside. So I think if you're somebody who has like likes the versatility of different colors and fashion, then perhaps the Transitions Generation 8 may be your go-to choice. Now let's talk about the new generation of the Transitions Extra Active lenses. And these ones definitely bring something kind of new and different to the table. The new generation of Extra Active lenses are known for getting extra dark because they're not just sensitive to UV light outdoors, they're sensitive to even visible wavelengths of light, including that of blue light. So they even remain just ever so slightly changed to a darker color, even when not exposed to harsh bright light from outside, which can be really helpful if you're somebody who enjoys a bit extra shade in changing lighting conditions, or somebody who's bothered by bright indoor lights, which kind of makes them ideal for somebody who struggles with photophobia or light sensitivity. Also, because the extra active lenses do get the darkest, they also respond the best when driving in the car, which is oftentimes a complaint that people have with other types of photochromic lenses, that they just don't work very well when they're driving. And if you don't know, the reason for that is because your windshield in your car already has UV light protection built into it. These lenses will also be the darkest when it's quite hot outside, which makes them kind of ideal for anybody that lives in a hotter, more tropical climate. But here's the kicker, the extra active lenses tend to not transition back to clear very quick. And so if you're somebody that is in and out of doors a lot and maybe lives in a colder climate, it may be something just to keep in mind. Next up are the Transitions Extra Active polarized, which are built on the same previously mentioned extra active technology, except these ones also have polarization, which means they cut down on glare more than any other type of lenses. However, this polarization technology is turned on or off 
just like the tint is. In fact, how they engineered a lens to transition its ability to be polarized is just fascinating, mind-boggling, and I don't think exists in any other brand of photochromic lenses. If you're not super sure what polarization really means, I do have a video going into a deeper dive into that, and I'll put that in the video description below the like button for it if you want to check it out. Otherwise, polarization basically means it cuts down a huge chunk of glare, giving you a crisper image and be able to detect colors and details a lot easier. The only caveat about the extra active polarized lenses I would mention is that I don't feel the extra active polarized gets as dark as just the standard extra actives do, and the polarization lenses don't activate quite as well in the car as the standard ones do either. Technically, they're about a 90% efficiency, but still, if that's a huge deal, something to keep in mind. And last but not least, let's talk about Transitions driveware. And as the name suggests, these lenses are really designed for someone who spends a lot of time on the road. Transitions driveware are really a precision instrument. They are finely tuned to optimize your vision and safety during your drives. They combine the Transitions photochromic technology with a permanent polarized lens. So they adapt to changing lighting conditions, but they always give you that reduction in glare off of the road and other vehicles. But here's the catch. As you can see here, the Transitions driveware are always sort of a tinted colored lens. They go from being kind of an amber olive color when it's kind of a gray or overcast day, then they change to kind of a copper tone when you're actively driving in the vehicle, and then they go to a dark brown when you are in direct sunlight outside. The whole point of having these different shades of amber is because these colors are known to enhance contrast and improve your detection and ability to see in distances while driving. But obviously the driveware are specifically meant for driving, and so they may not have the same versatility as kind of just for everyday wear as the other types of transition lenses. So there you have it. You have the Transitions Generation 8, the Transitions Extra Active with or without the polarization, and the Transitions Driveware, each with their unique strengths and applications. The Generation 8 lenses are all about versatility and style. The extra active lenses that get extra dark, which is desired for anybody who loves having a little bit of extra shade. The polarization lenses for those who really demand the most clarity and detail in their eyesight. And then of course the Transitions Driveware as kind of the perfect roadside companion. Of course when choosing the right lens for you, it depends on your specific needs and preferences, but just remember that no matter what you end up going with, when you're investing in type of photochromic lenses like this, you are investing in some really crazy cool technology. Something that is light years ahead of just regular standard glasses lenses. All right, so that's the wrap on our kind of transitions lenses showdown. Let me know in the comments section which part of this video you liked the most, or just let me know what kind of crazy cool technology you would like to see next in your glasses lenses. Either way though, if you need some extra help looking at glasses frames, lenses, and trying to figure out and navigate the world of eyeglasses and seeing your best, then check out our other cool video and full playlist coming over here to the sign. Otherwise, keep an eye on it, and we'll see you in that next video. Adios.